If you're anything like me, you have no time in the day. You are working almost 24-7 on your job and also a side hustle. You're also getting in the gym, trying to improve your body, get that dream physique. And at the same time, you're trying to hang out with people and build meaningful relationships. It can be extremely busy and then when you hear about these habits like meditation and all the benefits that it can give you, it just feels impossible to incorporate it into this busy schedule you already have built out. And you also think like, wow, I'm already doing all these things, why do I need more? But in today's video, I'm gonna show you this cool hack that you can just apply anywhere you are so that you can get into meditation and start to feel some of the benefits. But what are these benefits? You know, if you haven't heard of meditation much, you haven't been looking into it, let me just outline a few of those benefits. So I've been meditating for about three, four years now, but that first year I was barely doing it. I was just doing it whenever I could. And these last two years, I really took it seriously, especially this summer. I actually joined a Zen center about three years ago, and I did some training with a Zen master, which really took me to another level when it came to meditation. But this happened that I'm about to show and go over is insane. You can literally do it wherever you want and it doesn't even like look like you're meditating. If you're around other people, they won't even know that you were meditating. So I'll give you an example of a place that I applied this and it was actually back when I was in my undergrad at college. I went to UMass Amherst, if any of you know what that is. And during my classes, I would start to zone out because one, I was like, I don't need to be learning any of this subject, specifically in these classes that I really didn't care about. Other times I would just watch people's presentations in class. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be a little bit mean here. They were trash at presenting, you know, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I was a really good presenter in those classes, you know, a lot of people would give me good feedback and all this stuff because I don't know, I, I took them kind of seriously and it was a little bit hard for me not to take them seriously because I don't know why I had this ego thing where like if I'm going up on stage or like in front of this class of 100 people, sometimes 400 people in college, I was gonna take it seriously, I wasn't gonna do a bad presentation, but to other people, they would not do the same thing. And so during their presentations, I would find these five minute gaps where I was just able to do this meditation hack and I was able to get some of the benefits like more mental clarity, like more focus, more peace, more happiness, less stress, less anxiety. And yes, that's a lot of claims to make about a practice, but damn, meditation can actually deliver on all of those if you take it seriously and you get consistent. But you don't need to do 20 minutes, 30 minutes, two hour meditations like I was doing this summer sometimes. You can just do five minutes at a time and you'll start to feel some of these benefits. And so what is this hack? This hack is to literally stare at something. Choose an object or a point anywhere in your world, in your room, on your bus, in your classroom, like what I was doing. So I would choose this cool little art thing that was on like the wall hung up. And yes, someone was presenting and the teacher would be doing their thing sometimes, but I would literally just focus on that point and just make myself stick to that one point. And it might seem, you know, boring, like, what are you doing just staring at this, like, you know, wall or, like, whatever? Like, there's literally nothing going on that's so boring, like, you're wasting your time. But no, it's actually something you have to treat as if you're working out or as if you're going on a run where you're at this resistance wall where it's hard to just keep your focus on just one boring thing, right? Like, if you're just choosing a plant that you have in your room and you're just deciding to focus on that one thing, like, yes, it's gonna be hard, but that's the point. You're doing the hard things, so you can gain some sort of skill, right? And the skill that you're building is to be able to get used to this boring action that you're paying attention to. Because if you can build up that little focus muscle you have inside of you of sticking to that one point without thinking, for as long as you can before you think again. So let me explain that again. You start focusing on the plant or that point on your wall and you're just trying your hardest to not think, to just really zone in on that. No matter what, no matter how experienced you are, even these monks on these mountains, I swear to God, they're still doing this too. Your mind will drift off into thoughts. You'll just start randomly thinking about what you're gonna eat, about some argument you had with your friend last night. And you'll go into that thought and you'll get stuck there for a little bit 
But as soon as you recognize, you're like, oh shit, I'm thinking right now, I gotta bring it back. You just gotta snap back to that point that you chose. And every time you do this, it is literally one rep of you meditating and you getting better at this skill. And even if you just do this for five minutes and the entire five minutes, you're just snapping back and forth and back and forth, even if you do it the entire time and you feel like you're terrible at it. That is you doing the practice. And you have to really drill that in your mind that you attempting this back and forth thing to that point is the practice. It's not you sticking there with zero thoughts. Yes, if you get really, really good at this, you can start to just like treat it as the practice. Like if you were going back and forth, maybe that's you not doing it great. But in those first one to two years, which most people watching this video are at that stage, you treat every time you snap back as the practice and so you can do this wherever you are just get your clock app set it for five minutes or if you're in a classroom and you can't take out your phone or anything just kind of guesstimate there's usually clocks on the walls set the five minute timer and just focus on that point and yes you can do this with your eyes closed and do it with your breath and that's more of a normal meditation but the beautiful thing about my hack is you can do this even if everyone around you is just looking at you or just like around you in the same vicinity. It doesn't seem like you're meditating and not paying attention. It just seems like you're staring at the person that you're thinking or something. But when in reality, you're actually focusing on this skill that will bring you so many benefits. So start doing this hack as often as possible and I promise you will get all the benefits that you would want out of meditation without having to commit so much time to it. Trust me on this, try implementing it just for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go down, hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. If you wanna continue your learning binge, watch this next video.